What's up everybody on YouTube? Free Swimmer here. Just wanted to do a video on uh, the overhead sump filter. It was working, seemed perfectly, for a good little while with the lock line and the sort of uh, the blade ends on there. I took them off, they're here on the floor. I've played around with some stuff, disassembling things. That's where it came down into. That's my rack of many, many extra plumbing parts, so I always have something to go to. But the reason I took these off, they seem to be working wonderfully. Very quiet, everything was just great, but for some reason I was standing up on the chair by the filter and I felt a little drip of water. Like the littlest, tiniest speck of water. And I, I just said, hmm, what could that be? Ah, the angelfish likes the new bubbles. I went up and looked over the top and I noticed, we'll go up there and we'll see what's over the top right now. We will show you what it looks like. Move this ladder. Get my footing so I don't fall. And if you look down in there, the spray bar is working like very efficiently. And if you look way down in there, you can see a water level. Well, that water level had risen up to probably here and I just changed the filter pads so they weren't clogged up it wasn't backing up for that I was uncertain as to why I was doing it the only thing I could think of was there was something going on clogged up in the lock line and so I shut the pump off scratched my head and said it's not life or death Thank God it's not, it's not, you know, critical that that runs, so I took a few days without it running at all, and today I just went ahead and changed the outlet. The water level's down where it needs to be. It's like a lot of water coming out of there. You don't realize how much an 895 gallon per hour pump puts out till you just got to go into town like that. And it's, it's a little loud right now. I don't have to worry about it backing up, I don't think. I don't think there's any way this could clog. I've got an inch and a half coming out with an inch and a half 90. That's what the fitting is coming out that was downsized to the lock line. Went from an inch and a half to an inch to a three quarter splitter with the two blades on the lock line. And apparently something got fouled up inside there. So, this is where we are right now. I don't know that I'm going to enjoy this sound. I personally don't mind the sound of water running, as long as it's doing what it's supposed to. Not a big fan of water running when it's running amok. But I uh, just wanted to show everybody that everything was working perfectly, but boom, I noticed something. I guess the moral of the story is always just get near the aquarium, get real familiar with your aquarium. You never know what could happen. There could be the smallest thing that could become a huge thing. Had I not felt that little, you know, that slightest little drizzle of water, it might have come over. I thought about drilling an overflow emergency, but I just had not got around to it because it was working so well. So fortunately I caught that and it didn't end up being an issue that was tragic. Well, if nothing else, the angel fish has got a whole lot of new fun playing with these bubbles for a while, but I think I'll figure out a way to make it a little bit less turbulent, a little bit quieter. But here we are for now. 
Hope everybody has a good rest of the weekend. Touch and base. Thanks everyone who subscribed. And uh, anyway, take care everybody. Later.